to uh, to show you guys the film Desire, which was directed by an English director named Adam Smith, and it has Damian Lewis, an English actor, and Jordi Molo, who's a Spanish actor, in it as well. And um, it's an amazing film. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Is this your car? Yes. Oh. No. I'm delivering it. You better get out of the way or you're dead. Why? What are you going to do? Run me over. I think what um, you know brands are doing lately with short films as advertising instead of commercials is very smart. And I think it's, um, it's much more fun for us as, uh, as actors uh, because you get to be creative and and advertise something, so I'm I'm really happy to be here. I feel I feel very lucky, and um, I love the film. It's funny. It's um, uh, action. It's uh, you know dramatic in certain moments, and I love it. I'm very proud of it. Well we were in a desert, a, a very high up called San Pedro de Atacama. You know, I try to describe it and I don't even really have the words, but I just remember that the stars were the most beautiful stars I'd ever seen. The, um, the air was magical, the, the moon was the most beautiful moon. It was uh, it's one of my favorite places I've ever been. We were very lucky. Born in Honolulu, then you moved to to Nevada. Uh, you are a melting pot. Is there something of each country in you? I always tell myself that's why I'm an actress. There's a lot of uh, different cultures inside of me. Uh, I, f I feel this, uh, a lot of different spirits inside. But um, as far as really having the knowledge of these cultures, no, because I grew up in Reno, Nevada, for 17 years. So. When you're in one place this long and you didn't travel at all, I have a lot of catching up to do. I'm very, um, I'm like a late bloomer. I've been to Italy a lot. I've been to, I haven't really been to France. Uh, maybe a, you know, a little bit, a week. Um, everywhere I've been has been like three or four days. It's not enough, you know. So we'll see. Take my jacket off. Hi. Hey. Are you and his mom? We're not together. No. You're not together. Yeah. yeah. The End of Love is a film, a very personal film, um, of this director called Mark Weber. He's an American actor, and it was an improv film. But it came. It, it was based on. A, it's based on some personal experiences for him, a struggling actor, sing, a single father, um, and I play a single mother that meets him, and he's in mourning. Uh, he's mourning his uh, the the mother of his two-year-old in the film, and he meets me. I'm a single mom as well, and it's just kind of about. Um, the struggles of being a, a single parent, trying to find love, trying um, sometimes forcing love, uh, especially when you have children, um, how that can be lonely, but also the most beautiful thing in your life. Um, uh, dealing with f failure and success, there's that. Those themes are in it. I just think it's beautifully done, um, and I'm very proud to be in that one as well. I think he's amazing, Mark Webber. I have a, a, a movie called The Jesuit coming out um, with Paz Vega and uh, uh, Tim Roth is in it, he has a small part in it and uh, Jose Maria Yaspic is in it and it's, um, it's a great script, a great story and I'm really excited to be in that one. It was an up and coming Mexican director named Alfonso Uloa and uh, it was, that was amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know when that's coming. I, I don't know, you know, just wait patiently.